There's going to be good things and there's going to be challenges. You know, the good thing was that we were able to go out, you know, practice and show our capabilities and what we're capable, capable of. And the bad thing was, you know, this injury that I had. But we're going to get over it and, you know, we're going to, we're going to work really hard and we're going to grind like this, just like how we'll grind through it with anything. So we're going to be able to get through it. Dante Fowler is done for the year. We have Greg Rosenthal here. And Greg, I mean, he was pretty upbeat just seeing that he's done for his rookie season already. This is such a bummer for him and the Jaguars because they it looked like they were finally going to get that pass rusher they needed. He, he was more upbeat than you were before we started this segment. I mean, you're disappointed. All the Jaguars fans out there are disappointed because he gave them what they didn't have, a guy who can win one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. They've built up that defensive line on the inside, but now Fowler's gone, and it's a team on the rise. It's a huge season for this team, too, in the third year under Coach Gus Bradley. Now, when in looking at this, it seems like there's contact, and I know that the teams aren't supposed to have contact, so what type of issue would this be for the league? I think the league will look into this, because they're at full speed. You're not allowed to have contact, and it's clear throughout the line, not just Fowler, but if you look on the interior on that play, what defines contact? Because they had a whole lockout to really back off some of the contact and some of the work that goes into the offseason. So I think the NFL will have to look at this. We've seen the Seahawks, for instance, get punished uh, for having too much contact in the offseason, for pushing the envelope. Gus Bradley was with those Seahawks teams at the time. So I think the NFL will be looking into this. And Dante Fowler, he was the first defensive player off the board. He was talked about as possibly being a rookie defensive player of the year. How much do you think this is going to hurt them as a team right now in 2015? It's going to hurt big time. I, I like this Jaguars team to make a big step, kind of have that season this year that a lot of people expected they would have a year ago. But Fowler was a unique player on this roster because they don't really have anyone that can win those matchups. They were sixth in the league in sacks somehow anyways. Gus Bradley's done a good job of coaching up this defense. I think Blake Bortles will get better. I think the young offensive pieces in Jacksonville will get better. So they'll have to pick it up to really make up for the loss of Fowler. This is still, to me, the team to watch in the AFC South other than the Colts. I think they're going to step it up. They're going to need to show some progress or else Bradley and general manager David Caldwell, they might not be around to see what Fowler's career looks like when he gets healthy again. Yeah, well, I do like your positivity, though, because I feel like that's something that we saw with Dante Fowler, Gus Bradley. They're both very, very positive. So I think with the changes, they will hopefully be better. But obviously, this is a really tough blow for Dante Fowler and the Jags. Of course, we have a full write-up on it right now. It's up at NFL.com slash around the NFL. Around the NFL.